Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, April 16th, and today we will cover the trades for yield max funds, TSLY, uh, NVDY, CONY, and MSTY. All right, so first, um, I did not make any trades yesterday, uh, but yesterday I did make a trade via options. Um, so, you know, I have been posting just my buys lately uh, because people ask me to. So at the same time, um, I'll try to, on occasion, I'm not going to bore you with options because some people don't care, uh, but on occasion, I'll share my options trade. So yesterday, I had a quick options trade. I sold a put on TSLL, which is a double leverage fund on Tesla. I sold a $7 put. They were around the little, they were priced a little above $7 at the time. So it was very close to the money. Um, so I sold a $7 put. It expired in four trading days, which was this Friday. Um, and I received $27. It was 20 cents per share. So 20 cents times 100 uh, shares, because one contract is 100 shares. That's $27. So if you take the 27 divided by the 700, that's a 3.86% return on investment. If I daily calculate the daily yield, that's 0.96% per day. And if I annualize that, that's a 351% annualized yield. This is probably one of my best trades. Um, however, I did go close to the money because I'm okay, I'm okay with owning it at $7 because that's actually averaging down from where I am at right now because I have an average of 850 on TSLL. And as, you, as most of you know, I'm doing the wheel right now. I'm selling puts and selling calls. So if TSLL continues to drop today, I will sell another put probably for the 650 range, $6.50, and then I will continue. However, if TSLL recovers, then that's good too, because then I have shares that I already own that I could sell calls on. So hopefully that makes sense. I don't want to get too far into options, but for those of you that were upset, I'm, I sold Tesla. Don't worry, I'm selling options on Tesla on the side, and this is it, TSLL. All right, so let's get to the trades. Um, actually, this was baseball practice yesterday, and there was a, it, it started pouring and thundering and lightning, and we waited it out, and it was good. It was worth it because uh, it stopped real quick. And look at that rainbow right over the field. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, nobody cares about that. So let's move on. Um, oh, I did share this on my – I posted this yesterday on YouTube. Uh, th these are the uh, the size of the funds, you know, Per asset, you know, per net asset value, essentially. And Tesla, yes, still number one, 710 million. Kony is number two, but, you know, I don't know if they're catching them. 439 million. And Vidi, right behind Kony, 428 million. And everyone else is really just trying to, you know, you know, they're like the C group. So there's, there's Tesla, there's the A, you know. There's a start, there's Tesla, and then there's Kony, Vidi, and then there's everyone else. All right, let's move on. So NVIDIA had three trades yesterday. NVIDIA, um, three transactions. So you see a buy call, sell put, sell call. So, you know, as usual, typical, adding to the synthetic position and then selling a weekly call. So let's look at the spreadsheet. All right, so they have a synthetic 915, which we know, and that expires May 17th. So plenty of time uh, for that to recover. But right now, NVIDIA price is 860 and the strike of this synthetic is 915. So they added to the synthetic yesterday, 100 contracts, um, and they got a credit from the put for $635,000. And they only had to pay $305,000 for the call. So that income will go into the April profits, you know, as long as my formula is picking up properly, which it is. If they had to close out this synthetic today, which they wouldn't, it's 24.4 million debit. Now let's go to the April tab. I wore a sweatshirt in the garage and now I'm sweating. Um, how did Nvidia do yesterday? Well, let's just say the whole market was red. So Nvidia didn't, didn't do too bad. Nvidia went down 2.48%. NVIDIA went down 1.88%. So here's the 100 contracts. They sold a $900 strike, sold a call for 900 bucks. 
and it, they went 4.65% out of the money and they got a 0.78% yield for that um, or $67,000 as a whole. So outstanding shares did go up, obviously, because, you know, if if outstanding shares went up, then obviously they have money to do more. And they did. They had more contracts. Cash and treasuries overall did go up by $5.6 million. So weekly call recap, outstanding shares, $16,050,000. Uh, total income is $7.8 million. Distribution per share, $0.49. Cents. Daily income, $0.05 cents a day. Daily yield is 0.21%. And if you annualize that, that's 75%. So that's pretty good. Active tab, they have two strikes. So the lowest strike is the newest one, 100 contracts, 900 strike. That, again, 4.65% out of the money. And then the biggest position, 4,750 contracts. That's a 920 strike, 6.98% out of the money. NVIDIA price is 860.01 and their 30 day IV is 44%. 30 day chart is ugly, um, but NVIDIA still doing good. $26.13 for NVIDIA. Capital gains now, since it's been going down, they're making more room for growth. So if you bought it now, you have pot potential of $1.81 capital gains. Reaction is the. Uh, this is the NVIDIA Smirk, because NVIDIA is still the GOAT, um, in my eyes at least, and that's the NVIDIA Fund Manager all day, all day long. All right, so here's the recap for uh, income purposes, how much they could pay out, possibly, as of right now. They have 3.2 million in synthetic income. They have 7.8 million in short call income. That's a total net income of 11 million, um, which comes to about 69 cents per share based on total income or 49 cents per share based on short call income. Um, the holdings, I mean, again, they're synthetic. No, no reason to talk about it. it expires May 17th. Um, but in blue, obviously, these are the two trades now, but no reason to really talk about that either. They have four trading days left till they expire. Let's just look look at the net asset value. It's $418 million. The NAV is twenty six oh seven, and the trade price is twenty six thirteen. I gotta take this sweatshirt off. Give me a second. Oh my god! Ugh. All right, sorry about that. Holy hell, it's hot in here. Woof! All right, so let's move on to the next one. Who else had a trade? Well, the only other one was Misty. Shocker there, right? So NVIDIA and Misty, and, well, and Coney, sometimes Coney, I'll say, have trades. But Misty always has trades for the most part. It's very rare that Misty doesn't have a trade. And why is that? Well, that's because people are continuing to buy into the fund. The, you know, the stale funds like Tesla, they don't get as much activity. They're still the biggest fund, you know, net asset value-wise. Um, they're still the most popular. But no one, there's not a lot of new investors running to, to jump into it. Uh, Misty is another story because crypto is just so popular right now. All right. So anyway, three trades, buy, call, sell, put, sell, call. So they're adding 65 contracts to the synthetic. And then obviously they're using that to sell calls. So let's run the numbers and see what that looks like. All right. So this is a problem. Okay. The 1700 synthetic is a problem um uh, first let's look at what they added they added 65 contracts okay but if you look okay mstr price it's now you know it, it went down it's at 1335 their strike for the synthetic is 1700 so obviously that's a huge gap now this expires april 19th april 19th is friday okay so we're now four trading days away from that date so, of course, the sell put is going to give you more credit than it does than it costs to buy the call. So, the sell put produced a credit of 1.8 million. All right. So, a lot of people sometimes they write in the comments to say I love your content, but I'm confused as hell. So, I think people a lot of people get confused maybe on the synthetic. I'm not sure. But if, if that's the case, hopefully this it makes sense. But 
you know, creating a synthetic, this synthetic position, they do a buy call and a sell put, and they choose the same strike price and the same expiration. Uh, typically, these funds choose one strike and one expiration. So there's always, for the most part, one, except Tesla has two right now, but forget that. But so the 1700 is the only synthetic position. So they're adding to the synthetic position, again, via buy, call, sell, put, same strike and same expiration. However, this one, again, keep in mind that the strike price is 1700, but since it's so, so much further above the price of the underlying, you know, and the expiration is so close, you know, Keep in mind, when you sell a put, you're committing to buying the shares for that price by that date. So if you sell a put on MSTR for $1,700, you are saying, I'll buy 65 contracts, which is essentially 6,500 shares of MSTR for $1,700 on Friday at $1,700, unless it, obviously, if it goes above $1,700, then you don't have to. But if it stays below, which look at the number, it's likely to. That's why they get the credit of 1.8 million. Because the odds of it going above are not likely. All right. So the sell put credit is huge for that reason. This is a massive risk. So we got a massive credit. Now the buy call, that's basically saying I'll pay, I'll pay money, you know, to buy um the the option to purchase 6500 shares at $1700 all right by friday so if it goes above $1700 by friday then we can make money on that buy call if it stays below 1700 which it will probably um then these are useless so essentially that's why it's so cheap that's why it's only $6.99 for the buy call cuz that's pretty much just going to expire worthless. You know, that's, we really, I hate to say it, we really just threw out $44,000, right? I mean, I know MSTR moves like rapidly, um, but it's safe to say that it's time to open a new synthetic position. I'm not saying close this one out because they should just let it drain as far as they can. Hopefully we recover, we recover a little but at this point, my opinion, this is when you open a new synthetic. I know we're getting the credit. Uh, I know the 1.8 million, but how much is it going to cost us in the end? You know, that's the thing. So right now, the answer to that question is it's going to cost us 22.9 million. Now, keep that number in mind when we get to the end. But that's a massive, massive number. All right, let's go to the April tab. Hopefully that helped the few that are still confused. Because when people say they're confused, that's like, a, to me, that means I'm not doing my job right here. Uh, but hopefully, I'm, you know, I'll try to throw in some little extra tidbits here and there. But MSTR went down 9.71%. So obviously, when the entire stock market goes down, the most volatile stocks will go down the most. Um, and rightfully so, MSTR went down a lot. 9.71% is a big dent. MSTY didn't go down as much, but they still went down 6.67%. So they're almost at 30 bucks. Um, they're at 33.17. That's crazy. All right. Thir so again, they did 65 contracts. They chose a strike price of 15.05. Oh, so yeah. So since they create a synthetic position and they use 65 contracts, they now can sell calls on that, right? So they sold calls on those 65 contracts as if they own the shares. And they chose a strike price. They said, I'll sell it for $15.05 by Friday. Um, and, you know, $15.05 is 12.66% further above the current price. That's out of the money. So they got 2.02% yield for that, you know, for your troubles. That's basically the return on investment that they're getting. Um, which, uh, again, cash-wise, it comes to $175,000. So... Uh, overall, cash and treasuries, uh, outstanding, sh I'm sorry, outstanding shares, I mean, it went up 200,000, pretty good. Overall, cash and treasuries went up 8.6 million. So not bad. Not, I mean, we're looking good right now, but I'm, I'm telling you, Friday is, is not going to be pretty, or whenever they decide to close out that synthetic. All right, outstanding shares, uh, 2,725,000. Uh, income, 
They're producing 4.5 million. Total distribution uh, per share on the weekly calls, $1.69. Total daily income, 19 cents per share. Total daily yield, 0.57%. And if you annualize that, that's 206%. That's pretty good. All right, active tab. Let's see how we're doing for the weekly calls. Well, it's safe to say we're doing pretty damn good and we're probably safe. But it's still early in the week. There's four trading days. The lowest of the two strikes, they have 22 contracts with a 1,635 strike. That's 22.39% out of the money. And then there's 545 contracts. That's a 1,670 strike. That's 25% out of the money. All right, here we go. MSTR price, again, 1335. 30-day IV, 119%. 30-day chart, not looking the best, to be honest, but MSTY price, again, is 33 bucks, so it's still above 30, so not bad. Um, potential capital gains, it's going to look good. Yeah, look at that, man, $8.26. So if you bought today at 33 bucks, you have the potential of this week alone of gaining you know, capital appreciation of $8.26. Who says these aren't gross stocks, right? But the likelihood of it recovering that much, I mean, I'm not so sure about that. But, you know, we'll see. The reaction is the Misty Fund Manager is still happy um, until Friday, of course. But time will tell. Now, the number that we had to keep in mind was what? $22.9 million. Again, that's how much it costs to close out the synthetic. How much income did we make from day one? on this fund can you guess well it's if you look at total income i'm sure you can we all we we made 20 million 20.3 million total income so far based on the transactions we made about 20.3 million again this is these are based on my numbers of course i can make a mistake so i'm not going to say it's 100 accurate um this is just based on me plugging in numbers yes of course i could screw up but this is what i have i have 20 million dollars 20.3 million dollars okay this synthetic, again, as of today, there's four days. Um, it costs $22.9 million to close. So let's just say they close that today. That would wipe out all of the income made from day one. Okay? That's how dangerous this synthetic position is. So that's why, in my opinion, any new shares, any new contracts should go to a new synthetic position. See, MSTY is a great fund because... It's very volatile, but it's only fun when it goes up, really. I mean, that's let's be real. When it's going down, this is not fun, right? This is not as fun. And right now, it's still fun because the numbers look good. But again, once that synthetic loss gets plugged into here, it's, it's just not going to be fun anymore. So get ready. Um, either way, I don't want to be a downer. I'm just trying to explain to you guys what's going to happen. So the synthetic income right now... Uh, for April, what 4.1 million. The short call income is 4.5. Total income, 8.7 million. That comes to 322 total income per share. And short call income is $1.69 per share. So again, keep that in mind since the synthetic income is going to be a, a debit essentially at some point. The short call income per share is really what we're going to use now to calculate uh, the estimate most likely. You know, last month they made so much money overall which is why they distributed us more than just a short call income per share. Um, however, as you see, maybe they shouldn't have, right? Maybe, they should, maybe but you, you can't predict what's going to happen. That's the thing. Um, okay, what do we got here? We got the holdings, which, again, we're not going to get too deep into that. But, I mean, you know, the put, you see the put, $23 million. So, again, the buy call is only worth 186000 So that's that's where that... You know, it's 22 million is. Uh, in blue are the weekly calls. They all expire Friday, so we have time. But the net asset value of this fund is 89.4 million. The NAV is 32.84. And whoa, the trade price is 33.17. What a ripoff. I'm sure that'll true up at the open. But as of right now, or at least as of the close, what a ripoff. All right, so let's go to the uh, pre market. I mean, we really need some green here. Cut us a break, guys. Again, I don't own Misty, but I'm on your team. We needed this to work out. Yeah, it's down 0.45%, maybe just a little aftermath from yesterday. 
Again, I'm making this video. It's about 4.30 a.m. It's earlier than usual because I got to get to work. I got to leave the house at 5 um, to get a workout in before work. So I'm actually running a little late, but these videos seem to take longer and longer. Um, but yeah, so that's the pre-market for MSTY. All right, let's move on to the next fund. Let's go to Kony. Uh, Kony and Tesla didn't have trades, by the way. So let's look at Kony Synthetic. Kony Synthetic expires May 17th. So nothing really to talk about, nothing to worry about. Um, yeah, they're pretty far away from the number, actually. They're priced at 223 now. Their synthetic is at 260 But again, it, that we got a whole month. You know, I would not worry at this very moment. Let's let's worry about the calls. Uh, but before that, how did Coin do yesterday? Well, again, being a crypto related stock, crypto is volatile. The market overall was down, which includes crypto. Coin was down nine point zero nine percent. Ouch. Coney was down seven point nine five percent. Ouch. Wow. Twenty. It's down to twenty three ninety six. People wanted to buy in. I guess here we go. Uh, outstanding shares, well, no movement. Cash and treasuries overall, it only went up 21,000. So it's essentially a standstill. Maybe that's just interest from the treasuries. Who knows? Uh, outstanding shares, we got 16 million, 50,000. Total income from the weekly calls, 14.4 million. That's a distribution of 90 cents per share. That's a daily income of 10 cents per share. A daily yield of 0.42%. Uh, Annualized yield of 152.7%. All right, let's go to the active tab. So we got four trading days, as mentioned. We have three strikes. Um, this is them in lowest to highest. So the lowest strike price is 262.50. They have 500 contracts for 262.50, which is 17.5% out of the money. And then they have the, the biggest position, 15,000. 770 contracts with a 270 strike that's 20.85 percent out of the money and then they have 730 contracts with a 277 50 strike that's 24.21 percent out of the money uh, in my opinion all of these are safe because the market's been red i'm sure it'll flip I, it'll flip at some point right i hope um but right now i don't know uh 223.41 is the price of coin 30 day iv is 95 percent 30-day chart, not too sexy there, but uh, Coney price still above 20 at least. It's at 23.96. Potential capital gains, $5.01. So, damn. Like I said, look, look at this growth. You can get growth in, in Coney right now. You bought twenty. You bought a 23.96, you get $5.01 if it went up a lot. My reaction, again, Coney brings in the money, right? You bought Coney from day one, all you do... All you do is make money, you know? So good for you guys if you did. All right, payment-wise, payment information. Let's take a look for the month of April. Synthetic income, 14.8 million. Short call income, 14.4. That's a total net income of 29.3 million. Total income per share, that's $1.83. And short call income per share, that's 90 cents. So again, still early in the month, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Outstanding holdings, again, I'm not going to dig too far into this because their synthetic expires next month and the weekly calls have some times, you know, they have four days. So the net asset value of Kony is $383.4 million, the NAV is $2389, and the trade price is $2396. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to pre-market. I had to think for a second there. Long day for me. I got to go to the office. Then I got to try to leave early and get to my, you know, got a game tonight. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Okay. What's up? All right. Coin is up 0.49%. Coin is green at 4.35 a.m. Of course, a lot can change, but coin is green. Maybe MSTR is green now, right? They kind of move together. Nope. Not so much. Sorry, guys. All right. So that's uh, that's Coney. Let's go to Tesla. And no trades for Tesla. As mentioned, they have two synthetic positions. Uh, they have a 175 and a 170. Tesla took a dump yesterday, just like everyone else. They also had some news 
they laid off like 10% of the workers at a certain location, I think. But whatever. In the end, you know, you got to do what you got to do as a company. People, companies have been laying off employees left and right. So that's nothing. This is not like earth shattering news. So I know it's Tesla. So of course it's a little, you know, overblown, but whatever. I think it would have, you know, Tesla would have went down anyway because of the, uh, the market. I don't think that I don't think that news really did anything anyway. Uh, but Tesla price is at 161. So the 175 strike synthetic, obviously they got a ways to catch up. But again, that synthetic expires May 17th. And as does the other one, the other synthetic is 170 though. So, and they're a little closer to that one. So again, I'm not going to talk about their synthetic too much because we got plenty of time. But how did Tesla do yesterday in that blood market? Tesla went down by point, I mean, 5.59% and Tesla went down 4.96%. Um, so if we look at outstanding shares, did they move? No, they did not. Cash and treasuries, did they move? They went up 35,000. So again, that's probably interest. All right, so outstanding shares, 45,825,000 total income. On the weekly calls, 15.9 million, total distribution per share, 35 cents, total daily income, 4 cents a day, total daily yield, 0.26%, and annualized yield, 96%. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Active tab, how are they doing for this week? Well, one strike, still, obviously, 41,115 contracts, 177.50 strike, 9.92% out of the money. I would say it's safe to say we're ready for Tesla to flip green, right? Let's take all that upside. Tesla price, again, 161. Look at that 30-day IV, 60%. Um, so when the market goes down, you know, the IV tends to rise, but they also have earnings coming up. You know, the earnings are coming up next week. So the IV should be going up because of that too. But Tesla price is 1457 and if you bought at fourteen fifty seven, you have a potential for capital gains of a dollar forty five, which is pretty good. Now, reaction, smiley face, Tesla fund manager smiling because they look like they're going to win the weekly calls. Again, the earnings date is uh, April twenty third. I did check curve, still, still the same old one hundred and one contracts with a two ten strike, and that's thirty percent out of the money. So that's probably safe. Uh, that one expires May 17th. All right. Here we go. Payment information. Synthetic income from it for April, 545000 Short call income, <clears throat> $15.9 million. That's a total net income of uh, $16.4 Oh, my God. Total income per share, $0.36. Cents. Uh, short call income per share, most of it, $0.35. Cents. All right, outstanding holdings. Um, again, I'm not going to talk about this synthetic, but they only have the one call that you see in blue that right now they're winning. So, but overall, the net asset value, and again, this is the biggest fund, 668.8 million. The NAV is 1460, and the trade price is 1457. So you get a three cent discount at this very moment. So if we go to the pre market, and we refresh the data. 440 already, jeez, oh my God. Tesla is going down in the pre-market. It's down 1.02%. Oh, it went up a little, is that it? now it's down 0.97%. So again, it's 440 AM, a lot can change. So we shall see. Um, Tesla's at 159.94. So, you know, again, I think as far as all of these funds go, I'm not worried. You know, we're ready. We're ready to flip green. So we're ready for the market to turn around and do well. Um, you know, enough with this redness, all right, sell-offs, whatever. Can we, uh, can we just, can we turn it around and make some money now? Um, I mean, if not, whatever. It is what it is. That's what happens. That's the risk, you know. But uh, as you can see, you know, the, the good thing about these funds, they don't go down as much as the underlying so, you know, that's the good part. The bad part is that they are capped. But right now, none of them look like they could be capped this week. You know, again, I don't want to jinx it, but because we have, still have four trading days left. But yesterday was pretty ugly. Not going to lie. Pretty ugly. 
I had to actually, uh, you know, I made my buys earlier in the day, which is which was a big mistake. Uh, I did some swing trading, and uh, yeah, did not. It was not a good move. I should have waited till later in the day. So I just shut off the computer. I'm like, I'm not gonna do any more. I'm done. I'm moving on. So that's the update for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope the little detail I went in on the synthetic maybe helped, maybe not. But either way, I'll let you guys, you guys can tell me what part you're confused on maybe, and I'll try to cover that a little more, you know, if that helps. Uh, but either way, uh, as always, this is uh, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. Uh, so hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you were entertained. And if you were, please hit the like button. It does, it helps out greatly. Um, so, and um, quick update. Uh, I do not have baseball this coming Monday, and I did confirm the time with Sylvia Jablonski at Defiance. So we're going to do a live, like a Q&A live, where, um, you know, the uh, subscribers of my channel will have a chance to ask questions to Sylvia. Um, and I, I did ask her if she could give um, some merch out to maybe some random question, uh, people asking questions. And she was kind enough uh, to find out that she can give out some QQQY hats. Not sure if you guys like, you know, free merch or not, but that's just some something to make a, a little fun, a little fun. But uh, she said they could do 10 hats. So if 10 of you, you know, whoever has questions, I'll take all those people and we'll randomly pick 10 people and then they could send 10 hats. Okay. Uh, that's the plan, at least. I'll make a post about it, but uh, I just, you know, I kind of talked to her, was emailing her yesterday about it. So that being said, today's key word um, is um, I want my QQQY hat. <laughs> I don't know. Some of you probably hate QQQY. I get it. But some of you don't care about hats either. But uh, that's the key word. That's all I got. I'm too tired and I got to, you know, get ready for work or drive um, to get to the gym, somehow wake up during my hour commute to get motivated to work out. But we'll see. Uh, either way, that, that's the keyword. Um, I want my QQQY at, cause, cause again, if you, if you come on the live stream and ask, you know, you can't ask stupid questions or else I'm, I'm just not, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, ignore it clearly. Um, but either way, just ask questions that hopefully haven't been asked. You'll think of it that way. I don't know if you guys watched her video, her video, her uh, Q and A's before, but um, new questions are always welcome. You know, uh, but uh, not nasty questions, not disrespectful questions. Just just questions. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done talking. I'm too tired for this. All right, um, let me go and hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a good one. Later.